Hello and welcome back to another Try and Fix It. Uh, if you've seen my short video, I picked up three uh, cylinder lawnmowers today. Let me turn the camera around, let me show you what's what's happening. And uh, let's see if these will start. Right, so the first one we've got here is the Quarkast Classic Petrol 35S. Um, yes, yeah, so I picked this one up. It looks like it may have had some repairs done in the past, but not quite sure of what the repairs was. If anybody can read that. Good luck. Yeah, so look around this lawnmower. Um, yeah, it has seen better days, but it's still in good condition for what it is. Uh, this is a 2005 model. Uh, Bosch Engineering. Uh, here's all the numbers for it. It's a 40 kilo um, in weight. You wouldn't really think it was 40 kilo, but yeah, it is. Uh, so yeah, so as you can see, that's 2005 model. Um, Atco, Atco Corecast Limited. Um, I'm quite sure what the engine is. Um, is it a um, decompass engine? I don't know. Never had one of these before. Um, yeah, let's take the fuel. Let's take the air filter off. Have a quick look in there. Let's see what's... Um... See what that looks like. Sorry about shaking the camera, but... Yeah, a bit rusty. But I'll give that a blowout, I will. Um, obviously, a bit of corroding here and there, which is expected. There's a bit missing here as well. But I think that's just wear and tear over the years. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to check the oil. Check the usual checks. I'm going to drop a bit of petrol in the tank um, and let's see if this carb is going to leak or not well to me it looks like it already has by that down there I'll just turn you around here so as you can see where the warning is um, it looks like we may have had a leak there in the past so what I might do in this video is take the carb off see what's happening with that because it looks like it has been leaking at some stage so i don't really want to risk putting petrol in in the tank and then it all just runs out so what i'm going to do first is we'll get that carb off we'll take it in the workshop we'll have a look at it see what's going on See if we need any parts for it. And yeah, we'll go from there. So yeah, so I'll take this carb off. We'll get into the get into the shed, see what's happening. Because it looks like it, like I said before, it, it does look like it's had a um leak, a fuel leak there before. So yeah, my first time having uh, a cylinder mower. But I ain't just got that one. I've also got these over here. Now, I have not really any information uh, to go by. So, if anybody knows the maker model of this beauty, then drop a comment below. And also, got what I'm assuming it's a Wester quality products converted to run on unleaded fuel. Um, we've also got this one as well, which this looks like it's had quite a few repairs in the past. Got a lot of tickets on here. So yeah, this has had some work done on it over the years. Clutch. clutch and something else there have been done 
we've had. What else have we got on here? Don't really know. And something else, and something else. GNS Atco. Service, service. So we've had a few services over the years on this, but I really have no idea how old this is without digging a bit more information out. Yeah, so if anybody knows any information on this as well, the engine and whatever else, then please drop a comment below. We've also got obviously this one as well, what I just showed you. I've no idea what sort of make model this one is without finding the information. If I can find any numbers at all, then I'll drop them down in the comment section below as well. But this one's had like, looks like it's had an oil leak. But yeah, so if anybody knows any information on them two lawnmowers, please let me know. Got the uh, grass boxes there as well and there so that sort of uh, helps the information but yeah anyway let's stop waffling get this carb back in the shed and let's see what's happening let's give it a good clean first before we go out down any other route right i'll bring you back in a minute right so now we're back in the shed let's have a quick look to see um see what's happening with this uh carb now i'm not quite sure if um yeah tecumseh yeah so we've got a tecumseh carb um number 46 so obviously that's uh tecumseh engine which i always struggle to say So let's try and crack this nut. It's a 13 mil nut. Oh, that was easy. That was very easy. I'm going to get one of myself, one of those uh, rubber trays. So, yeah, the jet looks like it's blocked up. Let me just get a different cloth. Use this. Right, so there's a little washer there as well. But let's just see if this will <coughs> crack open. So we've got a bit of crap in there. Not a lot. Looks pretty clean. To be honest with you, it don't even look like it's done a lot of hours. But that looks quite clean there. So that's that. We'll sort that out in a minute. Now is this the float is it completely fine as well? Let's just try and get this needle out. What we'll do is we'll take this um, fuel cover off as well. So let's just see if this will come off. Oh, nope, didn't get it. No, nope, still didn't get it. Oh, we got that one. All right, so let's just take this out here. I did see um oh, so that's not doing it. Let's get another one. Um let's try this screwdriver because I don't really want to start stripping. Oh that's in there tight. There's always one in there. Um Come on, 
I know what I'll do. Let's get a bit of the old. WD. And let's squirt some in there. Let's see if that'll help a bit. <coughs> See if we can uh, just break this seal so it will come out. No, that is being a pain. Let me get a socket set on there. Um, see if I can take it off with a socket set. I'll bring you back in a second. Right, so. I'll just crack that with this. This is a quarter inch, a quarter inch, and that's. To be honest with you, I think it might be better using a quarter inch socket, um, because really, if it's that solid in there, you might risk damaging the um, crosshead, which. I didn't really want to do. So now that comes out. So we'll put that with that that gasket there, that seal gasket there, and then we'll put that through there. And then that can go to one side. I've also got a gasket here as well, which I don't really want to break. So just nice and gently, just break that little bit of a seal without damaging your gasket. Cause yeah, I don't really want to start buying stuff if I don't have to. Right, now we can get this needle, needle out, which is just a long, long pin, which that can go over there. Just pick all this out. That's okay, put that to one side. Gently get the needle as well, which looks fantastic. Still looks brand new. Just leave that to one side a minute. Uh, what else can we take off? Can we take this out? I'm not sure if we can take that out. Yeah, I think that might be it. I'm not sure. But what we'll do is we'll run some WD-40 around. Give it all a good, good clean. Then all the fuel. That's, that's where the fuel sits on there. Sorry about the plane if you can hear that. Just go around and just clear. Just clear what you can. Let's just give it a good clean. We'll just shoot all WD-40 around everywhere. And then in the front here, we'll just fill a ride up and just give her a good clean. There's loads of crap coming out there. I don't know if that emulsion tube would come out or not. I'm not quite sure. Let's just try and pop that from the top. Let's see what happens. Uh, get a flathead screwdriver. And see if we can get... Can we get that choke? Push that down. So I'm just trying to push down on that. But I don't think, no. I'm not 100% sure if that comes out or not, so I ain't gonna mess about with it too much. I can't see any grooves this side of it to 
bring it down and it won't pop down from the top but there's an old just behind the choke there as well which will squirt through so what I'm going to do so I'm just going to turn around blow all this out get all this crap out of here well, I'll blow it out and then I'll bring you back in a second when I've done all that um, and then we'll go from there I don't think there's anything else I can do apart from I'll give it a good blow out Yeah, so yeah, I'm gonna blow this out, bring it back in a second, and then um, we'll just actually while you're here, we'll give this a quick blast out as well, clear them out, see what happens here. Right, so that's that. We'll give that a blow out as well. We'll just clean this bowl out as well. Give that a good squirt. Empty all that out as well. We'll get a bit of um, rag. And we'll just collect all that debris down the bottom there as well. For a 2005 um, core cast, I don't think this has actually had a lot of um, run time because that bowl, in in my opinion, still looks brand new. Um, yeah, so I'm not 100% sure. I ain't gonna take that off because I don't want that spring fly off. So what I'm gonna do is just get underneath it and we'll just give that a good squirting down there as well because um, we don't want any debris underneath there as well. So I'll just work that through. And that's that. So that looks fine. That seal don't look great, but I haven't got another one. So we'll just have to work with the one that we got for now. Uh, so yeah, I'll, I'll blow all this out and I'll bring you back in a second. Right then, so I've cleaned all that out, blew it out. I blew all this out as well. So that's all been cleaned out and blew out and also the jet as well. That's all been cleaned. Just gonna give the float a quick wipe as well. Just to give any uh, crap in that out of there. Yeah, even the float don't look very old. Like I say, it's the only first time I've ever took one of these apart. But you can see, if I just move all that, you can see on the mat here, look, on the rag, look how much crap come out of there. So what I'm going to do is get rid of this, get rid of all this. quick wipe down because if you're doing carburetors you need to try and be um, as clean as possible so let's just get another cloth down there like that right so let's get this put back together so we need needle and that just hooks round onto there like that ah, you know what let's see if we'll drop the needle in first see if that helps it no it won't will it because you won't be able to get it round see we're learning as we go along Right, 
So let's get this on its perch, like so. Drop that in. Get the pin. These are fiddly. Right, so there's that. Yeah, that's all in. That's all as it should be, which is good. Right, so I'm not 100% sure if that seal there is going to work, but We'll just have to go with it for now. We'll just put this um, 13 mil nut back on as well. So yeah, this uh, Tecumseh carb, hopefully it won't let by, but it could do. So I've just nipped that up. Just give it an extra nip. There we go. We'll get the uh, gasket back on this way. Now just have that go a certain way. Ah, there you go. So the groove is already showing me which way it needs to go. So that's a bonus. So let's get this um, air filter cap put back on here as well and I'm just going to use the quarter inch just to send them home just like so don't really want to go um, too mad because I don't want to crack the plastic So that's in. Just give that a few more goes, just to make sure. That's home. So I'm not holding on to the plastic, I'm holding on to the carburetor itself. And then I'm just gonna send that home as well, just like so. Right, so that's one carb cleaned and uh, rebuilt. But I think that actually has to go on the top. So let's take these off again. Because I think that has to be the other way. If I remember rightly, I put it on the wrong way. It's all part of the learn. Always learning something. Just unscrew them. I'm going to turn that around facing upwards so people know to activate the choke. And that's so we can all see it. Just take a little bit of time lining it up. We'll send these back home again. We'll get this put back onto the onto the mower. We'll put some fuel in and uh, see if it leaks. I don't really want to risk putting fuel in because fuel costs at the minute are still sky high everywhere. And I noticed that it it was leaking. Um, so yeah, I don't really want to mess about with that too much, wasting fuel all over the place for no reason. Just give that a quick wipe down. So basically all I've done is to took it apart, clean all the vents out and stuff, clean all the uh, tubes and whatever else out on there. Yeah, 
So I don't know if that's the number there. 5148M4W, Tecumseh Carb. Uh, 46 on the bottom there as well. Just show you there, look. And the nut's got 187 on the bottom, which I have no idea what that means, but maybe that's just another number. Right, let's get this back on. Stop waffling. Let's get this back on. And uh, let's see if we can get this mower running. I'll bring you back in a second. All right, so let's fit this back on. So it's a bit of a, I'm just moving to the side a bit. So I'm getting there. It's a bit of a fiddle about. All that done. Push that back on. Get that clip back. Clip back up here. Right, so just gonna put some fuel in, just a little bit at the bottom. Let's see if it'll leak or not. Right, so it looks like we need to buy. I might be able to override it by just putting the pipe straight on. But this plastic clip here is broken, split straight down the middle. So, as you can see, what I didn't want to happen is happening, it's kicking all that fuel back out because that is broken. So what I might try and do, is put the pipe straight on there and then see what happens. I'll bring you back in a second. Right and guys, I'll bring you back quick. What I've done is just melted 
uh, that top there where the crack is. It doesn't look pretty, but I'm hoping it will hold for a test. Then I need to order one of these up as well. So hopefully someone knows where I can buy these from. I think that'd only be pennies, but hopefully we can, excuse me, hopefully we can still get these. But yeah, so I'm gonna fit this. Um, I'll see if it leaks again off camera. If it does, then I'll just bring you back and tell you what's what's happening next. But I'll bring you back in a sec. Right then guys, after a bit of time, I tried to um, plastic weld that. That's holding up, but unfortunately, Unfortunately, the bit that sits close to the carb is still leaking, still letting by. So, unfortunately, we ain't going to be able to get this one running. Because that's just letting by. It's not holding a good enough seal close to the carb. Um, so yeah, so this video um, is going to have a part two to it. I'm going to get one of these ordered. If anybody knows in the comments below, let me know. Uh, see if I can get quite a few of them ordered for this uh, Tecumseh carb. Uh, in part two, we'll get this, um, hopefully starting in part two. But until then, I'm going to have to get some of them ordered and we'll just leave it as it is and then when we come back to it uh we'll check the spark we'll check the oil and uh we'll do a few more checks on camera as well yeah guys so we gonna have to order some of them plastic uh clips there that hold the fuel line onto the carb itself um so yeah this is part one I'll do a part two as well when they come through. It'll be after Christmas now. But I hope you all have a good Christmas and a great new year. Um, there'll be plenty more videos coming out in the new year, hopefully now. So, yeah, have a great Christmas. Have a fantastic new year. And I'll see you all in the next one.